Only News Channel 5 spoke with a Cleveland Heights mom who says mismanagement at her son's charter school is forcing him to miss class. That boy went several days without bus service, and that was just the beginning of this family's problems. They called News Channel 5 for help. So we sent our Derek Waller to find out what is happening. Derek, this mom has a lot of reasons to be upset tonight. Yes, yeah, she is upset because she said it started with a lack of bus service, and then when they did at a bus stop, they put it right here at Superior and Euclid in East Cleveland. That's down the street from where they live in Cleveland Heights, and she says it is dangerous. This is right next door to a gas station where somebody got murdered a few months ago. They're confused. They don't have anything together. They're unorganized. Ebony Payne says the problem started with the new school year and a new principal. Her son's charter school, East Academy in Cleveland, didn't provide bus service for several days. I'm worried about my son's attendance record. Then East Academy switched to a new company with a bus stop several blocks from their Cleveland Heights home in East Cleveland, right next to where someone was shot and killed in May. And her son first has to take an RTA bus to get there. But this morning she says he still didn't get on. And he stood there in the pouring rain and the bus rolled right past him. She just rolled right past me and I was mad. I had to walk back up the hill in the rain. Why can't this be fixed today? I don't know. That's what I asked August 15th. So we called East Academy and finally showed up in person. The principal, Namaya Thomas, would not answer my question. Please close the door, please. Please, please, sir. Please what? close. But what's the issue with the transportation? Instead of talking, Thomas called security. Here's some background. East Academy is a free, taxpayer-funded charter school, but it's run by a for-profit company called Accel Schools. 95% of the tax dollars allocated to East Academy go to Accel. That's about $3 million in taxpayer dollars last school year, according to the most recent state audit. And in a recent state performance evaluation, East Academy got an F. After that confrontation, an Accel spokesperson called me with an explanation, saying Hassan wasn't picked up because they moved the bus stop last week closer to his home, but neglected to tell him or his mother. It's no good, and he's a young black man today. I need him to have his education and be successful. And Accel tells me that they have cleared up the confusion that Hassan now knows where to pick up his bus tomorrow morning, and that is up the street here near his home. Live in East Cleveland, Derek Waller, News Channel 5.